There's a reason every day that he starts is known as Skeens Day around Major League Baseball. There is so much notoriety on the number one overall pick from the 2023 MLB draft. But at the moment, Jack, he still has the second best price to win National League Rookie of the Year behind Shota Iminaga for the Chicago Cubs, who has also been sensational on the mound to start this season. If you had a vote, and maybe you do, but if you had a vote at this moment, who would you tab as the National League Rookie of the Year so far? No vote for me. It's showed up right okay. now, but look at Jared Jones at plus 2,000, man. Like, why is he mm. that far down the line? I know it's his teammate, and I know that Skeens is grabbing, you know, all of all of the fanfare right now, but let's not forget Jones just put together the better start this week. He went six shutout against the Dodgers. Like, he blew 101 by Otani the night before Skeens blew 101 by Otani. So we have to appreciate that the Pittsburgh Pirates might have pocket aces, which like is crazy to wrap your head around. Skeens came with the fanfare. Jones came with less fanfare. But it's 99 to 101 sometimes at the top of the zone from a really small guy. It plays so well at the top of the zone. And, dude, I mean, he's shut down. He's not walking anybody. I know he battled the command bug a little bit last time out. But, you know, he started on a historic strikeout to walk rate. And I, I think this guy is an absolute beast. Look at Pittsburgh, man. Choose your favorite arm there. Let's not forget to have success in Pittsburgh. First, you need to go through Indianapolis. And Jack McMullen needs to call your outings. That's You're your right. pathway to success mm. in Major League Baseball. That guy in the middle right there. He's back for a second straight segment next. Jack McMullen here for a second consecutive segment to go around his MLB map. Here we are into the first week fully of June following Memorial Day around Major League Baseball. We get that true assessment now, Jack, more than two months into this campaign of where teams really stack up and those individuals in Major League Baseball this year. We start with the individual awards, the MVP races in both leagues. I direct your attention first at the American League MVP odds. Aaron Judge, the favorite at plus 180, 30 cents in front of his New York teammate, Juan Soto. Jack, the question is simple. Will the American League MVP be one of those two guys from the pinstripes this season? Yes, absolutely yes. Um, I do believe that it's Aaron Judge if he can stay healthy. And this guy on the heels of, you know, a fine by his standards, actually, no, below average by his standards month of April, parlayed into the month of May that he had. Like, I, I was trying to really dive into the excellence of Aaron Judge in May. This guy, I think, finished the year or finished the month with an OPS over 1,400 in May, which is utterly insane. And I was looking at the highest single month OPS in, you know, the last however many years. I think it's the best single month OPS since Chipper Jones in 2006. I think Giambi oh. had a month in 05 where he was crazy. But then you go back to like, bonds in 01 and 04 that's the kind of month that he had and he went from i think outside the top 60 in ops at the end of april to the top at the end of may which is absolutely insane and that's who this guy is when he's on the field him and soto listen they got to figure out a way to to break the bank and I, I saw the reports that they're trying to you know scale down payroll going into next year Let's get that thing up for Juan Soto, man, because like Judge and Soto sharing an outfield for the next decade would, I, I mean, that's the key to happiness in New York City. And I know you, New York City, it's yeah. really hard to find happiness there, Ben. I'm sure you can speak <laughs> to that. But uh, no, man, I, it is absolutely insane what they have going on. And if you're a Yankee fan, these are the good years that don't have the ring. So if you're a young Yankee fan, know that these are the good years for you coming up. It's crazy, too, because I agree with you. Look at Soto, who a guy who always gets on base, and the slow start from Aaron Judge. You look now, on-base percentage, it's actually Aaron Judge slightly ahead of Juan Soto, which shows you how incredible that last month has been. If we do flip it over to the National League and take a look at that MVP market, Jack, similar to what we're seeing here, actually, in the American League, two team, two players on the same team at the top of the standings. That's Mookie Betts and Shohei Otani, followed by Bryce Harper. So I ask you the same question. Do we think it's going to be between Betts and Otani for MVP in the NL? So here's the thing, like this table will tell you that baseball is boring because it's a two horse race. I don't think baseball is boring <laughs> at this point. It's it's fun. There are other good teams and there are other good players, I promise. But it's kind of nice that the Yankees and the Dodgers both have, you know, arguably the top four players in the game right now, at least hitting wise. 
Um, I do think it's going to be one of the Dodgers. I honestly lean Otani because what this guy is doing with the bat is is utterly insane. And, you know, he's going to be the DH to win the MVP because if anybody's going to be the first one, he's going to be the first one to do it. Um, yeah. it's, it's crazy what he's doing. Obviously, Mookie playing short adds a level of dynamicism that Otani's just not going to have as a DH. And, you know, when you think about the voting pool, they could look at that and it's like, hey, new shortstop really holding his own. By the way, he's one of the best hitters in baseball. That gives him brownie points. So I understand the pricing on Mookie, but I think Otani is going to put together the better year from the stick alone. It's absolutely insane. The other guy on that list of five is William Contreras. The Brewers are playing really good ball right now, and William Contreras mm-hmm. has turned himself into one of, if not the best catchers in all of baseball. I, I look down there when it comes to value, but Betts and Otani, I do believe it's going to be a Dodger. Listen, this would be the only year, perhaps, with Otani not on the mound that he's not going to run away with the National League yeah. MVP award. So get it while you can. Quickly here, Jack, we go to the pennant prices in both leagues. In the American League, the Yankees, a short favorite, even well in front of the Baltimore Orioles. In the National League, there's that tier of three, the Dodgers in front, the Phils, and then the Braves with the injuries to Spencer Strider and Ronald Acuna Jr. About 40 seconds left in this segment. Are there any other teams we need to be keeping an eye on other than the ones I named and listed? No, I I don't necessarily think so. I think Seattle is a good one to take a peek at because they are going to be buyers at the deadline. And they need an offensive shot in the rear end, and I think that they're going to get one. They have the best starting rotation in baseball. Not by ERA right now, the Yankees do. And and it's crazy, and I know Clark Schmidt's on the shelf. That kind of makes a seamless transition in for Garrett Cole when he's back from rehab looked awesome in double a the other night by the way but I I do think it's the Yankees that should be at the top but the Mariners are the team that I would watch Mm. we appreciate the time as always